I don't know if there's a composer alive who doesn't have at least a certain reverence for Johann Sebastian Bach. If I had to pick one composer, for me, Johann Sebastian Bach is the greatest composer I've ever lived, period. Finished. Let's go have lunch. He had a very almost perfect sense of what he was doing with music. Bach is a particular composer for me, but I think everybody gives you the same answer because everybody has very personal relation to Johann Sebastian Bach's music. Bach was part of my wake-up call to find out who I was. My first uh, memory of his music is was when I was a little girl and I thought that his music went so beautifully with nature. And I learned that Bach means stream. I thought, what a coincidence. That, uh, because I felt that his music was like a stream. I think when Mozart saw his music, he said, das ist nicht ein Bach, das ist ein Meer. This is not a brook. This is an ocean. When you play three measures of Bach, you know who it is. I think that brings us to the, um, really the question of power of music. Any powerful voice like that is going to have long range influence. Of course, he had fantastic craft. He, ha he was fantastic musician, um, but there are many. Bach was a working musician. He got paid to write the music he wrote, and he had to do it fast and every week uh, for the church. It was normal that everybody listened contemporary music because that was the only interest, you know, to hear something new. So poor Bach uh, uh, worked like crazy to, to make uh, new pieces. And there's a thing called the Bach Reader. The part that Bach wrote has got to be probably some of the dullest writing known to, to mankind. I mean, it's basically, I need more firewood. This trumpet player is not good. I need a better violinist. I mean, that's the substance of and I completely relate to that. It's quite uh, contradictory that today we think that all these old masters. We have made Bach, Beethoven, Mozart iconic figures, which they certainly deserve. Any good music that reveres the past takes the past and reinvents it for its own time. I think the pairing of an older composer like that with a newer composer like me is a terrific idea because in that case, we play off of each other. I prefer always when my music is played with already existing music. It's definitely, uh, you know, uh, a challenge to be presented on the same program with Johann Sebastian Bach because you know that you can't come out on top. <laughs> but if, you, if you're going to go down, what more honorable way to go down than you and Sebastian Bach? I think people should be interested in, in the music of today because it is the music of today. Because it happens now, it happens now in their lifetime and um, it can communicate something really interesting about the reality in which they are living. I, I, I believe there was a space capsule sent out several years ago and they included recordings of Bach, just so any people in any other living beings in the galaxies that surround us would know, hey guys, you know, this is the, this is the best we've got down here. What do you got going? <laughs>